it's uh, it has almost cost to penalize it is saying uh, the token it is taking mostly is like input tokens less output tokens so please be careful if you try to use this computer vision model for any of the tasks i am really loving this ai competitions especially the competition that i'm seeing that anthropic is doing head to head or neck to neck whatever you call it with open ai uh, if you have been following this channel uh, you probably have seen that a few months back i have switched from chat gpt to cloud a and since then i have been you know uh, thinking in my back whether i have done the right decisions or not but on the back of my mind i was always thinking whether i should go back to chat gpt but today i got really excited after hearing the news about their new cloud 3.5 sonnet and 3.5 haiku model release along with the computer reuse model release and so because i was so excited i have seen few of the demos in youtube and also in the anthropic website but as you know in the channel i have already said couple of times before that i don't trust the bridge marks and i don't trust the demos that is been shown by different ai companies these are mostly hyped in most of the cases so i thought i'll just give it a quick try and probably just show you the real world use cases especially in the software development area where i usually use uh, different ai tools mostly in this channel so let's see whether the demos are really up to the mark or not whether it is really ready to use or even they said that this is experimental but let's see whether how much experimental it is whether it is actually even can be used for normal testing purpose or we should wait for this to mature okay so if you're ready let's go to the screen and let's quickly do the demo so if you are hearing this news first time this is the exact uh, article that they have uh, published yesterday which talks about all that all their model release i'm really excited about the model release however i haven't got access to the 3.5 haiku model i think once i will have access to it it will be really interesting to see the performance uh, because probably i am looking for a good cheap model for creating my next voice assistant so yeah please make sure to subscribe to the channel because um, i'm gonna share that voice assistant with you and you can probably just clone it and use it in future okay so make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you get to know whenever I release that voice assistant video and the code. But coming to the topic, uh, they have also uh, they have also released something called public beta computer use. Uh, they say that it's experimental, but all the demo that I have seen in the internet, including this one, uh, really seemed promising. So let's see how much promising it is. I'm not putting a lot of expectations really after reading this in this uh, article uh, that they encountered some amusing errors. Uh, where the model was ac accidentally clicking some long running screen, screen recording causing all footage to be lost so so please make sure even if you want to use it uh, for testing use their um, repository do not try to use the model in your own local computer uh, especially if your local computer have some sensitive data because you never know what uh, the model is going to do with it uh, even they have put these questions here which i really liked uh, there is a very easy way to run um, this, this demo and I've checked the code, the Docker file, and I saw they are using an Ubuntu 22.04 image, like a subcomputer or something. So basically, when you use this computer use demo, it's not going to actually apply the demo in your local computer. It will basically spawn a new Ubuntu Linux uh, image, and in that, it's going to actually run all the commands too. So that is actually really good. What we need to do first is we need to go to the Anthropic console and just need to create an API key. I'll just name it computer. Uh, use something like that. Uh, use the default workspace. Just copy the key and then come here and just set the anthropic API key to this. And then all you have to do is just run this command. This is the same command uh, that is shown here. I'll show you very quickly. So this is the command that we are using. So once you run this command, this is basically going to download uh, an Ubuntu image and run it as a Docker container. So uh, I think for me, because I have already run it once, uh, it's not going to download stuff. But for you, if you're running it first time, it will take some time to uh, download all the image and start it. Um, so it's using VNC to actually show you the Ubuntu cons console or, or the UI basically. So if I go to localhost 8080, um, this is how the um, demo looks like. So here you will specify whatever you want it to do. And this is the uh, Ubuntu uh, subsystem where it will run uh, everything. Uh, you can actually interact with this. So all you have to do is just click here, toggle screen control, and you can then control this Ubuntu 
uh, and play around with apps or install more apps if you want. Uh, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to turn it off and I'm just going to do a quick test. Okay. So if you're ready, uh, let's go ahead and do the test. So what I'm going to ask is I'm going to ask it to open Cloud AI and ask it to generate a project plan for an app to track my monthly subscriptions by providing a bank statement PDF for any month, I just say for any month, and then I just say for a month, and then use the project plan from Cloud AI and open Replicate.com. Use Replicate Agent to create the app. So let's see if it's able to do that or not. So it takes a screenshot first, and I think hopefully it will open the Firefox. Yep, there you go. Let's open the Firefox. Open the Cloud AI. There you go. Let's see what it does next. So it says, so it's not working. It says, I can see that we're logged in into the page is still loading so let's check now page is loaded so for some reason it just doesn't want to go ahead search into cloud ai it is just opposite to what it is shown in the cloud ai demo that's why i really don't trust all the demos as been projected by different ai companies but that's fine let's go ahead and they will just say okay please Go ahead with option one and so let's see. Yeah, so it created the project plan. It's asking, Do you like me to proceed? Yes, please go ahead. So it has now opened the replicate.com. That is trying to use the template. I would probably just say. I don't know if I can stop it. I want to stop it. Let's go. Oh, I will just click stop. And then say, please open replicate.com and use the replicate agent feature. Instead, spread.com. But yes, so just wanted to show it's not as it's been shown in the demo. It, it's too buggy, but yes, I think you would have seen different YouTube videos about using the computer use for different easy use cases. So this is really beta, I think. Let me first check how much cost. So it actually didn't cost me a lot. It's just I have hit the uh, limit very soon. But yeah, I think what they are advertising uh, or what a lot of the YouTube videos are showing you, it's not that matured yet. So this will probably take a few more months to be actually useful, at least for my software development use, because I got too excited. Uh, when I hear, heard about this cloud computer use demo, but yeah, it's it's not what I what I would expect right, to do. But I will probably try a bit with maybe VS Code or something to see if it works with that. I think it can do very simple tasks like open an Excel or do some Google search. I mean, yeah, some kind of level one task probably the cloud computer can replace in near time, like probably next few months. So it's really a high time that you start learning. A lot of these AI tools as much as possible. They have also introduced the Cloud 3.5 Haiku model and 3.5 Sonnet. So in my Cloud account, I can see I have access to the Sonnet new intelligent model. I will definitely try out uh, this model uh, in near future with few of the project that is on my mind. And I'll let you know for this video, I think I'm just going to wrap it up. I just wanted to quickly show you the computer use demo and just save some realistic expectation. Now I'm just going to quickly end the video here. But uh, I checked the uh, console. I still haven't got access to the Haiku 3.5 model. Uh, once I got access to the model of 3.5, then 
uh, I'll definitely make a video about it. So regarding the cost of using computer VS model, uh, it can really burn down a lot of your money if you want to really test it out. So that's why I created the video so that you don't just burn a lot of your money just to test this buggy product or this demo product. Because as you can see, it's, uh, it has already cost you like 60 cents without doing anything really, right? No output. But the good thing is uh, the token it is taking mostly is like input tokens, less output tokens. So, and that is why fortunately the cost is a bit less, but if it would have been an output token, you can imagine how much the cost would have been. So please be careful if you try to use this computer use model for any of the tasks, don't fall for you know, all the other promotional video out there in the YouTube and the internet. And don't immediately go and start use this uh, computer use model yet, because this is beta and this is really, really buggy as you have seen uh, me demoing in this video. Uh, with that, I'm going to end this video right now and I'm going to probably get another video once I have access to the next Cloud Computer 5 IQ model. And stay tuned for that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.